Good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great. Hope you're all having a great start of this weekend. And welcome to this video, in which we'll take a look at HBAR, the main coin of a Hedera hash graph, which uh, nowadays is, I think it's only called Hedera. Um, but yeah, has been very, very bullish. Was even more bullish yesterday. I mean, right now we're up 20% with a volume increase of 122%. Uh, but yesterday I, I saw that it was leading the charts in the top 100 with a 30% increase. So I just wanted to take a look at it. I uh, wanted to, to do a quick technical analysis, basically uh, basically analyzing whether we can get up to our next price target. We reached 8 cents yesterday and we uh, right now our main resistance level is actually still around 7.5 cents. But uh, we'll kind of analyze whether we can uh, actually break through that and get to 8 cents again and to 8.5 cents again. But we'll also talk about some fundamentals and some things I think you need to know. Uh, right now, starting with the volume, because Hedera Hashgraph, if I remember correctly, and actually I haven't analyzed HBAR for, for a very long time, and I'll, I'll call it HBAR for now. Um, I haven't analyzed it for a very long time, but I actually do hold uh, HBAR. Uh, I think most of you don't know this, but I've held it for, 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 for years now. Um, but it's uh, it's a little bit of a long-term hold, and usually the volume is uh, relatively low for HBAR, but right now it's, it's very high, and it's just compared to the market cap, it's great as well. So I checked out the volume, and what you can see, and uh, what I don't really like, is that there's quite a lot of Korean volume, uh, which is throughout the entire market, all right? L let's, let's be clear about that, but it's if there's proportionally a lot of uh, Korean volume, usually that means that there's some sort of a, a manipulation going on. Now, lately for the bigger cryptos like Hedera, that hasn't been always true, um, but it's still something, uh, it still increases the risk, all right? So we should know that, and I feel like you should know that as well. So if you want to trade HBAR, for example, be a little bit more careful than you would be. Um, but apart from that, Hedera has been developing uh, good as well, and I think it would be a shame to not show you that, uh, because it's 100% true. I mean, if you take a look at the total value locked, it's been in a steep uptrend for total value look this is a pretty steep uptrend a steep uptrend since uh the 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 mid of august uh, we we went from a 15 million to a 40 million total value loss um so that's great i mean you can see that the uh, ecosystem around hedera or on hedera is not that big yet um, with most of these uh, decentralized applications not having a lot of total value locked but you could still technically at Stater, uh, which have liquid staking of uh, HBAR X or X HBAR, something like that. And if you add that, I mean, then we're uh, all of a sudden a, a, a bit higher. And then we have also been in a stronger uptrend. As you can see, then the total value lock would be 133, which would bring it at about, um, let's see, 133. Yeah, that brings it at a 25th place. So then you could consider the 34th place in market cap as, as undervalued. Uh, just bringing ideas in your mind, but that's uh, th that's the fundamental development around uh, Hedera. Right now, if we look at the technicals, just given the given the fact that the volume is a little bit shady, we have to be a little bit conservative. The main idea is that if we are able to break above 7.5 cents because of its strength as a uh, resistance level, both technically but also psychologically, we would be able to uh, break through 8 cents and get to 8.5 cents. Uh, the, the problem, I mean, this is just technically what we want to do. 7.5 cents is uh, very, very respected. It's very strong. It's going to be tough to break through that. So a break, uh, so a break of that would uh, send us up to 8.5. The thing though is, is that 8 cents is actually pretty strong too. So it, it, this is pretty risky to say. I, I still think this is true because of that uh, strength of 7.5 and the break and the effects of a break of that, but still. Um, but for something like this to happen, there are some, some other things we need to do. And the main thing is, is that I think we're going to drop down a little bit first. I think we're going to drop down to this level here around 6.8 cents. And what we need to do is we need to hold that. We need to hold that for two, three days. If we can do that, then I think we will break above 7.5 and get our new, uh, get our new local top. At least it's not an all time high, but still, um, but because of the volume, I think there's a risk that if we drop down below, uh, towards 6.8, that we will break through that. And then we are in trouble because if 6.8 breaks, I think we'll drop down all the way down to 6 cents and 5.8 cents. Then from here, we could still trend up, but reaching higher than 8 cents is going to be very difficult and it's going to take time. 
All right, so right now it's it's pretty risky. Most important level I would argue is around 6.8 cents. So um, I'll definitely keep you updated on this. But for now, this is my analysis and take on HBAR. Uh, so thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of the weekend and uh, take care. Bye.